Oh, here's a little story of a mom and dad. She's no Angelina. Yeah, and he's not Brad. We're raising lots of kids from all over the world. Three bad boys. That's your niece, the girl. Sam and Andrew, it's important to mention, were born in New York City via two C-sections. Matea was adopted in 2005. She came from Guatemala. She had a chicken alive. Ethiopia called. In 2008, adopted three siblings, Jared, Ella, and Grace. Adopted again in 2011. Ella came from Ukraine. Now we have seven. Deanna from You Parent and the Mom's View. Um, I wanted to repost some videos um, leading up to Alex's adoption and then of his adoption. Um, they're old. They're like a year old because he's actually this one's more than a year old, but. Um, it's been a great journey, and I wanted to repost them because I just kind of wanted you to see, I don't know, the chaos in our lives, and some of you may have these expectations or impressions that, um, you know, you need to be perfect to be a mom, and I'm totally imperfect. The laundry pile is ridiculous, um, but the thing I like about this video, which again was done over a year ago, um, was just that it really expresses the heart in all of the chaos. So this is called The Imperfect Mother, or An Imperfect Mother, I can't remember, we'll see. And um, you just sort of get to see <laughs> how I'm functioning because a lot of you, um, I don't know, may have stress about the fact that you don't have everything all in the right place and all of that. I had to reconcile that years ago that as long as I'm loving my kids and they're having fun and that we're celebrating life and that they're learning just how to be awesome people that things like the laundry, my messy car, my being late to the school bus um, are not as important as the love that we share. So anyhow, this is prior to Alec coming home, us preparing for the paperwork for his adoption. Um, we did use a lot of underscoring in the music, which we don't do anymore because I guess I used to be really excited about putting things on and I had really bad headphones and I couldn't tell. Um, but it's a learning curve because I'm doing all of the editing and all of the production basically with the exception of the music, which my husband does. So, um, you know, here I was a mother not knowing anything about making a video at all. And so um, things have gotten better. <laughs> And they will get even better. So thank you so much for subscribing to You Parent. And enjoy this, I guess, re-upload of moi, the imperfect mother. Hi, it's Deanna on, I don't know, day five or day six. Okay, I've, I've kind of missed one. The past one. couple of days, I we finally got our dossier in. It was such a rush yesterday. I was so exhausted because I had to redo papers. And when I went there... First, they didn't have my documents, which freaked me out, but we did get our packages sent off, and I sent them with my friend Lindsay, who also is adopting around the same time. So we spent some money to have them delivered to somebody in another part of the country, and then they will be giving them to our facilitator in Ukraine. I've been thinking a lot about the concept of perfection lately. What got me started thinking about it was my frustration with my laundry. Laundry had just accumulated, but in reality, even when the house is really clean, the system that we have is that we wash the clothes, put them on the floor, fold them, put them away, and then there's another pile of dirty laundry in the laundry room. What are we gonna wear today? So when we wake up in the morning and we look for clothes for you, most of the time, where do we go to look at, for the clothes? Show me. Can you show me? You can get up. Where do we go to look for the clothes? The pile. Matea, did you notice that the other day there, there was a big giant pile, then there was no pile, and now there's a pile again? 
Mommy has to fold the laundry, right? Yeah. Can you can you tell me if this is the clean clothes or the dirty clothes? Clean. Okay, where are the dirty clothes? Okay, just to make you feel better, once again, Mommy's going to clean the laundry, fold these, and then there'll be more to fold, but we'll put them in your drawers, okay? So I am a totally imperfect mother. I'm just going to get it out there. No, I mean, when you look in the dictionary, or actually Wikipedia, under imperfect mother, my picture is there. More clean clothes out of the dryer. This is my system. When they're done in the dryer, they go here to be folded. And when you do it, you gotta try not to hit a child and bury a child with clothes. Whoa, where'd she go? <gasps> there she is! When my kids were playing hide and seek and they had their friends over, I found one of their friends hiding in the pile of laundry. Matea, when you play hide and seek, where do you hide? In the laundry? I'm gonna try to make it so the laundry the pile is not here. Dryer. The perfect mother would not put clothes on the floor, I don't think. She would always have them perfectly folded. Mm -hmm. And perfectly folded and color coordinated in drawers. This is my system. This is Ella's room. With her clean laundry pile on her chair that she hasn't put away. And this is one of Matea's drawers that we have to organize. Right now we're looking for the tank tops. Where the heck did they go? Very snarly because the shower was taken lat Late last night, we brushed the hair and went right to bed. My hair was done the same way, but I was able to put my hair up so that you didn't notice. Another sign of an imperfect mother. This is the brush. <laughs> oh, my brush, yes. And now when you're done, I want you to look at all the weird stuff in the brush and explain what it is. This is your brush. How come you hide your brush? When you're done, I'll show you why. No, just tell me why. Because you don't bother cleaning it when you're done. Is it me? Is it just me? Because wouldn't you want to share your brush with your wife? When I go to work and people are picking threads off, uh, hairs off me? No, not really, no. You mean blonde hairs? Yeah. They think you're a stud. Well, that goes without saying. Okay, so this is the brush. Where, it, will you, look, there's nothing in it. All right, then is someone else using my brush? No. Okay. So tell me something. Where do you hide the brush? <laughs> Will you ever tell me? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Uh-oh. <laughs> As the expression I'm going to watch out for that brush. I'm going to find that brush. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to find you. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. Because you have such a great hiding place for your brush. Yeah, I'll put it someplace you never go. I'm doing the laundry. <laughs> Let's go. Should we, should we brush your hair? I have a comb. I don't have a brush because Daddy hides the brush. In this closet somewhere is hidden the brush that he hides so that he will always have a brush. Hey, I bet it's in there. I bet it's in there. Yeah, I bet the brush is in here. Uh, it's not. I, and I'm not going to use my fingers. I'm going to use a comb. And I'm going to be very gentle. Okay? Okay? It's not the end of the world. It's just me brushing your hair. Let's go have breakfast. I don't have cinnamon toast crunch either. I only have fake Lucky Charms. Fake Cocoa Krispies. And... And fake Cheerios. What do you want, sweetie? Sweetie, your bowl of fake Lucky Charms is ready. Okay, it's empty. Organized. Oh boy. Shit. Someone let the cookies out. My favorite cookies, but they hate us. Here we go, the race for the bus. I must have left the lunchbox in the car. Lunchbox.
lunchbox. Okay, now where are my keys? I gotta get to the lunchbox in the car. Okay, Ooh. keys should hypothetically be in here. Okay. Okay. Get your shoes! Hurry! Come on! Get ready! I dry them, but they're insisting on taking the bus. Gosh. Okay, 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 okay. It's not be too late for the bus. <laughs> Oh, where the heck? Okay, there's her bag. There's her bag. Gosh. Right? Oh my gosh. I don't have shoes. I guess I'll wear Grace's shoes. Go. Keep going. Keep going. These are not my shoes. These are not my shoes. Okay, there's a water bottle in there. You'll just need to fill it up with water when you get to school. So today my goal is to clean the laundry, get groceries because we've been eating whatever is left over, and um, start to tackle the mounds and mounds of housework that I have um, imperfectly as I usually do. Laundry never seems to be done. Oh, there's always another load to do. The drawers, the clothes are never organized well enough. I never have the right kind of food that we need to eat at home. There are piles of things all over. But somehow we, we tend to manage. My point is that I used to think that I had to have it all together. And I just have to confess that I don't. My point is, is that I used to think that I had to have things perfectly planned. And I really don't. I'm imp imperfect. We could all be perceived as being imperfect, my children as well. And while I used to think that I needed to have it all together, I look at my life in this insanity, this chaos, this noise, <laughs> this disorganized mess, and in an odd way, I realize that I, even though I don't have it all together, I have it all. My life is perfect just the way God planned it.